Hello everyone, Brick Waffle here, and today we're going to spend a little time working on the Brick Waffle base. I'm sure if you've seen some of the previous videos, you've seen that Brick Waffle before. Let's see if we can get a better look at it without dying. That's exciting. Got some nice lava syrup dripping off. We do have a nice brick bridge connecting the two towers here, but as you can see inside, all we've got is a floor on both of these. So today what we're going to do is we're going to take a lot of the cobblestone that we've gathered by mining this all out and some slabs and we're going to start building a spiral staircase and some levels up here. So I'm going to get down to the bottom and I'll resume when we're starting. Okay so one thing we are going to do in both of these bases is to clear out the floor and replace that with cobble as well just so it matches with the rest of the flooring we're putting in. So we're going to do that now. And the plan I think is going to be to go up about every fourth level and put in uh, new floor. So that should line up. Basically every time we come across one of these areas here, we're going to drop a floor in, then go up the next side, drop a floor, go up the next side, drop a floor, and that will give us a pretty tall tower with a lot of floors that should give us more space than we can ever reasonably even use. If that ends up being too many resources, we might go back and revisit that and just have it go up every two instead, and we have very tall, maybe eight block tall rooms. We'll see what it looks like once we start building. So because we've already started with this nice little bridge design here, and we want to make sure that our floor lines up with this level, it actually I think is going to make a little more sense for us to start the floor here and work our way down rather than the other direction. That's going to be a little more dangerous for building, but it's also going to ensure that our floor ends up right here where we want it. So we're going to go ahead with that plan for now. And as long as I'm holding shift while I'm building this, I'm not going to fall off the edge. Uh, assuming that monsters spawn and knock me off while I'm in here, so lighting as we go is also going to be pretty important. The other decision is where is our first staircase down going to start, and I think what we're going to do is have it start over here, um, and that way it'll be clockwise going down, counterclockwise going up, which I think is fairly normal. Okay, so I've just slept in my bed, made it daytime again, one of the perks of being the only person on. And we're going to go ahead and throw some iron in the furnace. It's pretty nice. We gra grabbed some of that already. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and build out the first level on the staircase, and then I will be right back. So here we are at the bottom. What I decided to do is just to bring the stairs all the way down first, and we can go in and easily fill out the levels from there. It worked out pretty close. The only thing I had to do is just add a small little landing right here on the bottom floor. I could also just raise the level of the floor up by one block if I really wanted to keep it the perfect pattern all the way up, but I think this is fine. We can have a slightly larger bottom floor than everything else. So the next step is to go ahead and put in all the floors all the way across, and I'll be back when that's done. Okay, so here we are at the bottom. And we've got our floors put in. I've left one hole in the middle of this just for that dizzying view, but also because if we check the light levels here, you'll see that right at the center, we're actually dark enough for monsters to spawn. Um, it's actually a little bit worse here on this bottom floor because we're one block lower. But this block that I took out was right at seven. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the nether and get some glowstone, and we're just going to put one glowstone in the center of each floor. That'll take care of the lighting and make it look pretty nice as well. So I'll be right back after I've gone to the nether. Okay, actually, instead of going to the nether, I borrowed some glowstone from Krellios and Sakala. I asked Sakala if that would be all right. She said it was fine. So we've got our 12 glowstone, which is a little bit more than we need. So we're just going to go ahead and put these in and take a tour of the uh, staircase as we're at it. That should help solve all of our potential monster spawning issues all the way down. So the basic structure of this tower is basically done. The next step is going to be to decide whether we're going to do this on the other side, on the other tower as well, to decide whether we're going to do the roof, um, and I have a couple of ideas for how I want to do that, or if we want to decide to create more bridges in between as well, that's another option. Some other things that I've been considering are how, oops, and I miscounted. I very much miscounted. How many am I off? One, two, three. Okay. Uh, so I guess we'll be going back to get those as well. Okay, so we're back at the foot of our base, and one of the things that I was thinking about is where I wanted to put that tunnel in. I think what I need to do is just make sure that I'm at the appropriate level here, which is about 80, and then when we come back in here, we should just be able to dig out from one of our floors that's around 80 or so, and we'll have a nice entrance from the ground level. So this floor is at 81. That's actually pretty nice, right? except that south is right over the staircase. So where I had in mind to dig out is probably not going to work. I think the easiest thing to do would probably be to dig a different direction. This is going to be towards the other tunnel and that canyon in between them, but that actually might work out pretty well. So let's just try digging through here and seeing what we come up across. 
hopefully what we won't run into is the lava coming out of the waffle up at the top. Now that's pretty decent. Um, it rolls out here. That's off in the direction of town and some of my neighbors, so that's not too bad. And that's a decent back way into the base from where we are here. Um, this is actually pretty high. I could probably go down another level on this, to be honest. So we're going to start with that for now as a way in. It might just be a balcony view over this little river here, and we might do our main entrance from the other tower, actually. That might be a little bit easier. Uh, so that's a bit of a drop. Let's just leave that as it is for now. Let's throw a torch out here. And nothing should spawn on this ledge, and hopefully nothing will spawn on here and drop down and walk in. But we'll see. If that becomes a problem, we can easily block that off. All right. So, back up to the top, and I apologize again for those of you who don't like watching this dizzying part. Please feel free to skip a little bit ahead. Um, but I do want to talk about the plans that I have for the rest of the base. Obviously, each of these floors can serve a different purpose. We have a place to put our bed, our crafting room, a library, potion brewery, all those sorts of things. We actually have a little bit of room for some automation, too. You could see how uh, deep these walls were when I was digging through earlier. And that's a pretty view right now. The other tower is going to be about the same, and we have to decide how we want to roof those in as well. If you have any suggestions for any ways that you want me to roof these, um, any things you want me to build on each floor, something like that, any suggestions at all really, please absolutely feel free to leave me a comment. I would love to have your feedback and input on this. I think getting the creativity from the YouTube community is one of the things that makes me want to do these videos to begin with. Um, so that's really cool, and I, I think I'm going to do basically the same pattern over here, but I'm not going to do that one on camera, certainly not today. So I think what I'm going to do is wrap it up here. Um, I'm going to look forward to your video comments. Please let me know what else you'd like to see. I'm very excited about this project and some of the other projects I mentioned, and I will catch you next time.